I'm filming a studio vlog today. I'll be painting and drawing. You can come along in my day in the studio. I'm gonna list everything I did in the vlog so you can skip ahead if you're curious with the timestamps. If you're new here, my name is Cynthia. I paint. I like expressive paintings like this. I like abstract art like this. I like some more realistic stuff as well like this. If you like expressive art and if you like calm, chill vibes, you might enjoy this vlog. Also, if you like puppies, look at this little guy. Are you so cute? Yes, you're so cute. <laughs> He's trying to get me to give him a treat. I guess it's working. What are you doing, bud? What do you want? Tell mama what you want. You want a treaty? All right. And you sit and you wait. We're trying to use those buttons to tell to have him tell us what he wants, like if he wants to go out or food or whatever. You wait. Okay. You're the best boy. All right. Time to work. One thing I wanted to do was, remember a couple of videos ago, I painted flowers with a spoon, like a regular spoon. These guys, some were more successful than others. I really like this one. And one thing I wanted to try was to have one of those flowers in a large format, like 30 by 36 or 24 by 30. And because spring is around the corner, the colors are changing, the snow is melting here. I was planning on kind of redecorating some spaces in my house for that lighter spring vibe and a giant pink flower sounds pretty good. I'm gonna remove this from the banister and I was thinking to put a really large painting here instead of these orbs. Kind of like the same vibe as this, but in color. The first thing I want to do is to prep some large format canvases to have like a nice background ready to receive the flower. I'm not sure which one I want to take. I have this one that's 30 by blah, 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 24 by 30. I also have this one that is a um, repurposed canvas that I kind of painted over so I'd have to Paint this white to receive a flower. First thing, prep this. I'm letting everything dry right now so that I can try to 
paint my flower. This one has so much texture because of whatever was painted on top, but I feel like texture might be interesting. We'll have to see, but I kind of like it, I think. Now, one other thing I wanted to try. I have a series of painting pebbles like this. Those are painted on a wood panel. It's like a canvas. It's thick like this, but it's wood. And I left the wood to be completely natural. And I'm not sure if varnishing it would really change the color of the wood. If I would like the finish, I'm not sure if I put matte medium, if a, that layer of protection would be enough and how it would change the grain of the wood. So that's what I want to try. I'm going to try it on this tiny little dollar store wood panel. The goal is to paint a couple pebbles on this. Even if it's not amazing, it's not a big deal. Just I want to, once it's dried, try to put matte medium on one side and varnish on another side and decide what I like so that in the future when I paint more of these because I want the series to continue I don't know what to do and I don't want to ruin these some of you might know that I draw my inspiration from <laughs> from these pebbles that I got on the beach close to where I was born actually look at this one my aunt got it for me it's in the shape of a heart I think I'm gonna use this one as inspiration. my composition here I have to let this fully dry before I start going in with the matte medium or the varnish and the varnish so while I wait for this to dry I'm noticing that one this we could see the red throughout this so I'm gonna add a bit of white paint to kind of have it maybe not fully uniform but a bit whiter especially in the center but this is dry so I can start painting some kind of flower on here I don't know what I'm gonna paint I hope it turns out nice <laughs> I'm trying to recreate 
a version of this in the color and a combination of this a little bit. So far I'm pretty happy with what I have, but I want to go over the white petals to have them more opaque, bolder, and cover the stem obviously because I did it at the end. So like the petals will overlay and kind of blend everything together. The composition is a bit messy. I didn't even sketch anything before I kind of winged it like I was saying. So we'll see how it turns out. For now I'm going to let it dry so that I can overlay thick layers of white paint. Now, do I do the varnish or do I try this, this large one? I don't know. I think I'm gonna do the varnish for now, like the pebbles. Yeah, it's dry, so let's see what it looks like when I put matte medium. I'll put matte medium on a section and I'll put a varnish on the other section. I'll put matte medium on the left side here and I'll put this matte varnish on the right side. What I did actually is for the varnish, I only did um, a quarter here and I left this one raw so that I could see the difference. But I need to wait a couple hours to give a second coat of everything and wait for it to be fully dry before, before I have the result and I decide whether I want to varnish or not. The daisy is not dried yet, but I think I might give this a try. I don't have high hopes. I'm just gonna like throw something really bold really fast on the canvas and see what it gives. I don't know if you could tell. Yeah, you could tell 
because of it was red underneath the red peeks through so it gives like a peachy pinky color with spots of white and i kind of like it with that crazy texture let's see let's see what it's gonna give i'm gonna do one big bold flower and maybe a bud but maybe just one flower oh the pressure's on It's the next morning. I had to stop painting yesterday because I had to let everything dry. I put a lot of paint on the canvas. It was super thick, nice texture, but it meant that I, at some point, I couldn't put any more without creating a mess. So everything is dry enough right now for me to finish. I'm done with the daisies, like them. We'll show you in a minute, but I have to do this one. I have to work the petals here. I'll get to work now and show you the final paintings, both of them. And I'll also talk to you about this, my conclusions on my varnish. As usual, my beautiful little assistant is here with me, bringing me joy. Thank you, Linux. Patterns are super fun, but super nerve-wracking. The tool that I use at the end is really cool for larger speckles. And it's by Liquitex. It's called Freestyle Flat. I guess flat, plat, plano. It's different languages. So the Liquitex Freestyle Flat 
spatterer. It's big nylon plasticky bristles and the ideal way to do it is to use a thin consistency of acrylic paint like thin as like the liquid yogurt. You know what I mean? That consistency puts some in the bristles and then click it. If there's a lot of paint in the bristles, it's gonna give like streaks like this or even larger than this. But if there's just the right amount, you'll get the larger speckles like that. And with a stiff brush or a toothbrush, you would get the tiny, tiny little ones. I'm gonna show you both paintings, but before that, I just wanna talk about my conclusions when it comes to the wood varnish, no varnish and gesso. It's a tricky one. So in my original paintings, the ones over there, I watched the video back and I had put transparent gesso at the beginning. I forgot about that. And the reason behind it is that the acids from the wood can alter the colors of the painting. So that's why I had decided to put that first coat. So I first a couple coats of matte medium or transparent gesso is probably a good idea. As far as the finished product, I wouldn't put matte medium on top because it gives a milky finish. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's really like, it gives a film and it makes the colors um, less vibrant, less organic. You see that there's something, oh, there's an overcast. The matte varnish is pretty glossy like i would say that it's a pearl finish even though it says matte it's it's kind of there's a little shine i like it though i think if anything i would do no varnish at all or a matte varnish but i think it's a good idea to start off with a base before starting the painting of matte medium or transparent gesso just because of the acids in the wood now let's talk about the paintings I really like how they turned out. I think there might be a little rough around the edges, but I have to let them simmer. I don't know which one is my favorite. What I love about it is the big texture, like the th super thick, luscious texture of paint. Even if like some of the composition might be a little clumsy, I think having a super large flower like that is so bold. It gives an impact. It makes you feel like something i don't know if it's a good interesting mm, something or kind of like a tacky overwhelming something i don't know i have to let it simmer right this moment i have a little soft spot for the daisies because i guess the background is pink it's whimsical it's so like it feels cozy and nice and it makes me smile and the other one is fresher i just finished it it's hard to decide i do like the speckles the big spatters, I like that. But I'm gonna have to kind of let it sit and imbibe and see if I love it. Let me know what you think. Do you have a favorite? I think David's favorite is this one, he said. I just don't know. But I have a feeling that I might be painting gigantic flowers more in the future. My arm is killing me, let me sit down. I have a question to ask you. I wanted to ask you, do you like studio vlogs? Do you like to see me go about my day or a couple days or even see me do other things like, I don't know, repot my plants and I don't know, doing other things in my studio? Let me know if you like it. Leave me a comment. It's going to tell me if I should make more of these. I like geeking out on art supplies and stuff. Hope I'm not the only one. If you want more studio vlogs, here's a whole bunch of them. If you're still here, leave me a heart in the comments and I will heart it back. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you watching and I'll see you in just a few days for another one.